Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with a new video this morning. I hope you're all having a great morning. Uh, mine, it's better than yesterday. <laughs> but I want to talk about the concept of menticide, what it is, how it can happen, and how it's currently being used and committed currently on populations of humanity around the world. But before I get into that, pinned in my comments below on YouTube and in my description uh, on Rumble and YouTube well, will be links to my Rumble, my Facebook page, and my Minds account. Definitely go check them out, sub to them. It's always greatly appreciated. Thank you if you do. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. If you've never heard of the term menticide, it is the killing of the mind, essentially. So how does this happen? All right. Are there examples of this happening? Yes, there's effects uh, in history, I believe, with uh, the Soviet Union. They use tactics like menticide to coerce the population into different ideals that they wouldn't otherwise believe through manipulation, semantics, propaganda, so many other factors in place. Um, or we could also mention mass psychosis because menticide can cause a mass psychosis um, because, as I said, it's a forced killing of the mind that changes your beliefs radically and it, it, it's done through torture it could be done through excessive fear-mongering it could be done through just like right now we're in a fifth generational war information warfare it can be because of all the information that's out there and not knowing the truth so you're not even sure of reality anymore that could do it there's so many other factors that could play into menticide happening. Um, we look at other ma uh, mass psychoses, right, which can be caused from the menticide. We look at them with uh, state-induced mass psychosis, the Salem witch trials. These are real events in history that happened, and we are able to look back at these and examine the population, their, how they acted, their actions, their psychology, so on, at least from what we get in history, right, and what we have. Uh, we could kind of look at that and see it in our population today. For example, in the United States, we have a lot of people that are somewhat living in a really deluded reality, far from truth, and they're extremely aggressive. These people are the victims of menticide that have been done from the government, big tech, special interests, and other conglomerates that they have. Uh, coming from all different angles of our market, government, everything. They're, they're pretty much attacking us from every angle with information, uh, semantics, manipulation, lies, deception, and uh, also there's stigmas and so many other factors at play. Menticide is a scary thing because not many of us look at it and think, oh, we could fall prey to, we, we won't fall prey to that, right? But we can't. I mean, whenever I was really young, I mean, I'm 26 now, but whenever I was like 15, 16, 17, you know, I was through high school. It was uh, around the Obama years. I was heavily supportive of Obama, but I'm going to accept some humility here. I didn't know why I was supportive, uh, supportive of him other than I was just kind of following the herd, right? Because that was the popular opinion in high school was Obama good. It was never, well, why is he good? It was like, if you question it, you're racist. And for whatever reason, whenever I was young and naive and wasn't paying attention, I fell trapped to it. It's as simple as that. And as I grew and the Trump era began, I started noticing a lot of crap, a lot of deception. I started noticing that, hey, I'm being deceived. Even if this side isn't that good either, I'm heavily being deceived by this side and so is everyone else. And it's important to put that out there. I woke up from it. That's why I look at a lot of uh, left-wing people. It's just like, not all of them are inside of this. It's more of the radicals, and that's a minority amount of it. There's plenty of moderate left-leaning individuals and moderate centrists and all that. There's tons, and they're normal, everyday people. It's because they're moderates. Radicals can also be changed, right? But it's harder. It's more difficult. They're more aggressive. They're more ideologically perverted and extreme. It's, it's difficult. There's not really any ways to prevent menticide once it's already happened other than just kind of standing up and fighting it. Because once it's already happened, we're in dangerous territory. And what we're seeing right now is that dangerous territory kind of starting. 
kind of beginning. And we're seeing a great awakening, at least, in a lot of different areas, which is a blessing. But our administration is trying to throw us off into a pointless war, so we'll be more worried about our loved ones and things than what our government and conglomerates are doing to us and the rest of the world. You know, we won't be able to focus on standing up for our rights and so on and standing up against the corrupt actions of these people if they literally forcibly send us off to a bullshit war and distract us. It's, it's bad. We're in a bad situation. So, menticide tends to always lead towards totalitarianism and an extermination part of an agenda, if you get what I mean. At least from um, historical records that we know of. And that's just history, as we know, too, because there could be so many more events in history that we just don't know. I mean, we're living right now, and we're seeing parts of history not even being taught in some states. Alternative history that's not even true being taught in some states to indoctrinate children into an ideological belief because they don't know what life was like before the pandemic and the censorship and so on. I mean, you could take this example, like, from Animal Farm, where the animals fight off the farmer because he's oppressive and he's killing them and so on. And so this pig takes control and fights back and everyone rallies around him, but it turns out he's a brutal totalitarian tyrant. And this pig starts to do worse to these animals than the farmer was and trying to force them into compliance no matter what. And so these new generations that were coming in uh, didn't know what happened for this pig to take power and for the generations of power uh, that are at B, how they came to be. And so it's normalized to them to be obedient, compliant, and see this violence. It's normal to them. We're in for bad times. We are. But don't give up. We got to stand up. I'm tired of feeling like I'm in fear of what a portion of our deluded population is going to try and do to us because we're already seeing their attempts to pass lots of laws that screw us over. Uh, like, hell, these people literally want to give up their freedoms and our freedoms so Big Daddy can rule over us. Like, that's been put into their head. It's just... I never thought we'd be in this kind of day and age. You know, I never really thought I would see this unless maybe we were in some sort of war later down the road, which also is inevitable. And as much as I'm a libertarian, I want to avoid war. Sometimes you have to go into war to protect your people. But to go to a pointless war just to distract your people, you need to be overthrown. It's not safe. It's not smart. It's not the best for our people. It's the best for the rich elites and conglomerates and government and it allows them to continue to push proxy wars and color revolutions in other countries so they can take over these countries for globalization purposes. And then they're going to continue using their tactics of menticide, diluting reality, chain, you know, mass information, stimuli, just, oh, here's the truth. No, this is the truth. This is true, 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 true. Lie, 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 lie. Uh, you can't discern the information unless you take the time to actually look into it. And most people won't. And that's why we are here today. Never forget to stand up for yourself, your expression, and for others. We cannot fall to this. But yeah, thanks for watching. I may have strayed off a little bit on the topic. I'm a bit rambly this morning, quite energetic. 600 milligrams of caffeine will do something to you. But uh, nonetheless, go subscribe to my Rumble, my Minds, all that. If you do, thank you. You get a cookie. Uh, new video coming out later as well. Uh, stay tuned. Y'all have a good one. Peace.